Go. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here. It's going to be a rather different video yet again from myself on this channel. It's going to be a FIFA 17 Wonder Kids video. Now, if you don't know what a Wonder Kid means, it's pretty self-explanatory. It means that it's a guy say below like 20 who's got an immense amount of potential, who's going to go into the FIFA 17, who wasn't in FIFA 16 already. Now, I asked over on Twitter the other day for some guys to list a few. There were so many that I could probably do a second part to this video. So if this video hits 200 likes, go down, smash like button right now. We'll do a part two and maybe introduce some of the players you like. And for this video, I'm not going to do any ratings, nor am I going to do any stats, because I genuinely don't know what these kind of cards will be rated personally. They could be as high as anything, they could be as low as anything, depending on what EA and FIFA itself know about the player. So it's, it's never really going to be exact, and I, would, I wouldn't want to guess. So I'm going to let you guys let me know in the comments section below what you would rate these cards. Pick one player individually you're really looking forward to, and let list their stats in below. We're going to start things off to one guy who I'm actually unbelievably looking forward to using next year, which is Marcus Rashford. Obviously, he plays for Manchester United. Being a Leeds fan, that isn't the easiest thing to say out loud. But what an immense talent he is. Obviously, he's playing for England at the moment. And England have just lost to Iceland, which is devastating. But he was a bright spark when he came on. He at least was, it looked like he had some freaking hope for the team. The rest of them were just pathetic. And he at least gave it a shout. Massive respect for him for at least trying. I know he's young. Massive potential. Looking forward to seeing what kind of card EA give Tim. I've given him a silver card. That's as far as I'm going to go. I think he could be quite high-end silver card. I think he'd be like a 74 possibly. And uh, maybe get like an upgraded to a gold. If he has a good season again. And then maybe whatever informs across the board. But I think he'll have good pace. Don't know exactly what kind of shooting he'll have. He's a good finisher. Very good finisher. Good dribbler as well. He's a good player all round. He's a really good talent. And he'll definitely be in the game because he's a Manchester United player. A few of these are quite iffy for the because of the leagues they're in and whatever. But a few of them are linked with moves. Thus, you'll get to them as we get there. But Rashford is the first one. Let me know what you make of that one. I'm pretty confident he'll definitely be in the game. If not, then EA has some explaining to do. Moving to the next one now. It's going to be the young goalkeeper from AC Milan. This guy's got bags of potential. If I'm not mistaken, he's actually already in the Milan team, which is crazy. For a, you see in the background picture, he's definitely played at least some kind of game for him. Um, unfortunately, I've just noticed something about this card is that I put the pace, dribbling, and shooting, defending stats, and then forgot to change it for a goalkeeper, but don't pay too much attention to that. What we've got is a goalkeeper card here. He'll probably be a silver again, but you wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if he easily gets to a gold if he has a really solid season for AC Milan. He's an immense potential, like I said. A lot of big teams after him, I wouldn't I would imagine. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's like in the league next season. He's a goalkeeper, he's Italian, very young, very, very, very good. Moving to the next player now, which is going to be Emre Moore. I think it's Moore, Moore, possibly. And he's actually a Turkish international. Plays for Turkey, just signed recently for Dortmund. Which I think is a good signing for them. A young talent, meant, um, like, literally people are going crazy over this guy. Apparently he's got so much potential. I don't know exactly what position he plays, but somebody told me he's a, a right left winger, that kind of role. And obviously they're actually selling Mikai Tarin to Manchester United. Well, agree, they've agreed a deal. He's not a done deal as we speak, but they've agreed a deal. So maybe this could be his replacement, possibly, but I don't know exactly. Maybe it's like a squad player because of his age and his potential. But I'm looking forward to giving him a go in the league again. And um, I think, do they still have Nuri Sahin? Because if he does, then they'll get a perfect link to him. The next player is going to be a guy which I'm definitely looking forward to. I'm looking forward to all of these, if I'm being totally honest. But this guy right here, Renato Sanchez, um, obviously playing for Portugal at the moment. He came on the other day and he looks like an absolute tank of a player. So much potential. He played for Benfica, but he's just moved to Bayern Munich. He was, a lot of teams were after this guy. And I say a lot of teams, I mean a lot of teams. So many. Again, I'm not too sure exactly of his position. I think he's a centre midfielder. He might be like a cam or a CDM. He's, he's that kind of box-to-box -box kind of midfield player. He gets nitty-gritty in the tackles. He's an all-round really, really good potential player. And, and the move to Bayern Munich is only going to be good for him because, obviously, I don't know who their coach is. Is that Ancelotti taking the job for them? I think so. Um, uh, just going to be good. Playing with good players, obviously. And being in the Portug Portugal team as well is only good for him. So I think he's got a massive future ahead of him. I'd like to see how he develops into a footballer coming over the next couple of years. The next player is going to be Reese Oxford. Now, this guy I thought was already in FIFA, if I'm being totally honest. It turns out he's not. Um, he's actually... I don't know about him. He's definitely a wonder kid for sure. He's a fantastic talent. But there's a lot of speculation about his, his future because I think he's hasn't signed a new contract or he's asked to leave West Ham which I think strange because West Ham seem like a very much up and coming team like they could easily go to the next level very soon with the money they're spending the players they're linked with 
but apparently he wants out, and uh, a couple of teams have been linked with him, a few from the Bundesliga, I think, and, and, and you know, other countries, so I'm not too sure exactly what's going to go on with that one, so I'm not too sure who he's going to be playing for in FIFA 17, but he'll definitely be in FIFA 17, and he'll be a fantastic talent, that is for damn sure. The next player is going to be Lincoln, now a lot of you may not have heard of this guy, he's very young. And he's a very, very good talent. Now, I bought this guy on Football Manager once, and he went on to be an absolute world beater, absolutely phenomenal player. And he's already getting in Gremio's team at a young age. I think he's like 16 or 17. I genuinely think he's that young. And he's an immense talent. Like, people are saying he's, he's you know, he's the next best thing from Brazil. There's a few people who are technically the next best thing from Brazil because there's so many good potential players over there. But this guy stands out. And if the Brazilian league is on FIFA again next year, then he'll definitely be in there and it'll be an absolute fantastic card. The next player is actually going to be this guy called Chong. I have no idea who this is, but what a set of hair that is. Absolutely fantastic in both pictures. And a few people requested him over on Twitter, so I did look him up. And from YouTube clips, he does look like he's a, a, a talent. I don't know if he gets in Feyenoord's team or he plays for like their youth development team or whatever, but he looks phenomenal, pulling out the skills, skinning people, and that hair alone deserves him to have a card. So for that reason alone, I put him on a bronze card. So I don't know a lot, a lot about this guy. If you know a lot about this guy, let me know in the comment section below. Move over to the next plan now, which is anti Corich. Looks sort of like it looks sort of like how freezy in this picture in behind. But this guy, not sure, because I don't think his league is in FIFA. But he's linked with a move. So I think Arsenal are actually interested in him, apparently. He's a fantastic talent. Again, football manager, I've bought him before. And he's labelled a wonder kid on there. And he's an absolutely fantastic potential talent. But that's the only maybe iffy one because of the league he's in currently. And um, that's, like I said, potential possible. But the next player is going to be, I think he's called Gabriel Jesus or Jesus. And he is labelled the next Neymar. And he's linked with pretty much everybody. Barcelona want him. Makes sense. Manchester United wanted him. I think um, Arsenal are interested in him as well. Unbelievable talent, apparently. I've not seen a lot about him myself. But he's been scoring a lot of goals, actually. I've got this app on my phone. I think it's called, like, Forza or something like that. I've had it for ages. And it always lets me know when people score goals. I'm always up at like 2am in the morning and seeing he's scoring in the Brazilian league and um, it always seems to be the same guy. It seems to be this guy. So he's obviously doing some wonders over there. So I think he'll be a really fun card to use. Potential to be possibly 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot, something like that. It'd be a really cool card to have if the Brazilian league is on the next game. The next player is going to be this guy Dembele. Again, not knowing too much about this guy, if I'm honest, but he's just got to move again to Dortmund. Dortmund seem to be buying the youngsters, um, getting in some, some extra talent. Not too sure of his position. I put right winger there. I don't know if that's right, actually. Um, but he actually has a lot of potential. A lot of teams were after him. A lot of people requested him over on Twitter. So there must be something about him. If you've heard of him, let me in the comment section below what you feel about him. Move over to the final player, which is going to be the wild card of the episode, purely because it's a guy which I know who plays for Leeds United, who has the best name in football. Ronaldo Vieira. Legit his name. Legit. His brother is called Romario Vieira. Cracking set of names for footballer, isn't it? He actually come into the scene late last season for Leeds. He played, I think, one game. He looks like a bright spark. Now, obviously, I'm just basing this on I'm a Leeds fan and I'm hopeful. But he looks genuinely like he could have something about him. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what he can bring to the table. Very much looking forward to that. If he can become on a good player and a monk, I'm not really too sure. But... That's going to be the end of this video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be absolutely fantastic. If you're new around here, don't be afraid to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if there's a wonder kid out there which I've missed. Like I said before, there's loads of potential ones. So some of them I may cover in a second video if you do smash the like button. Like some of my videos recently have been a little bit low. I'm not too sure if you guys are getting bored of me or bored of FIFA or what. But if you can nail the like button on this video, that'd be absolutely amazing. Hope you have a good day. If not, have a better one. I'll catch you next time and do bye-bye. Boo!